What's up, guys? So, <laughs> this is my homie Kevin. You want to introduce yeah, yeah, yeah. yourself? So, Kevin, I'm from China. I'm over here. He's an illegal Michigan. immigrant. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go get his green papers right now, or his green card. Yeah, my green yeah. card, bro. Make him legal today. Yeah. I'm gonna put the camera up just because I'm always driving with this camera. And one day I'm gonna get pulled over for having this camera up. Yeah, shit did one day. Huh? Yeah, shit did got pulled over one day. So nah. -uh. I mean, yeah. Not with the camera. Oh, okay. I've gotten pulled over a couple times though. But so right now we're gonna drop this dude off at the DMV. Because he needs to get his driver's license, right? Yeah. Gonna be driving on the Pussy, street. Bro. Oh I'm shit! To, I'm trying to go to the strip club soon for my next birthday. Next birthday? Yeah. So we just dropped off Kevin at the DMV. Yeah, I know. I vlog. <laughs> we just dropped off Kevin at the DMV. So right now we're eating lunch. It is 10 or I guess 11 o'clock. So this is gonna be our meal, or this is gonna be the second to last meal before we go bench. Uh, so it's the eight, she's recording me. It's the eight grams or eight uh, ounces of wheat pasta. Oh, eight ounces of wheat pasta and then one pound of beef. Again, every day, all day. I mean, it's really freaking good, but I don't have any tomato paste or tomato sauce, whatever. So it's going to be disgustingly dry. Hopefully the grease from the beef makes it all right. But after, we done, after we're done eating this, hopefully Kevin should be done at the DMV. And we'll head over there, pick him up, come back, eat one more meal, and then head off to go and get some heavy bench. It's hard to look back. Alright, Kevin's bouncing. What? You wanna say bye? Oh, you chewing food? Go me that? Good ass fucking burger from Burger King. I got the kids meal. Well, like from a fucking gas station. Hurry up, this van's gonna get pissed off. The fuck out my car. Fuck your shit, bitch. <laughs> right. the fuck out my car, fool. Uh, I can't get up. Oh shit, my shit, bro. Hey, chill. <laughs> Wait, it's my key. Oh, God damn it, Kevin. Right here. You got it? Uh, yeah. All right. It's bomb. <laughs> I'll see you, though. Thanks. See you next time. What's up guys, so heavy bench day today, um, one of my favorite uh, days, um, one of my favorite workout days, I don't know why, but bench lately have has just felt really, really, really amazing, and I've gotten really, really strong from it, I don't know if that's from my diet, I think that my diet plays a big part of it, because before, I was just eating a bunch of like a just a bunch of bs i didn't really have a scheduled diet and a scheduled amount of calories amount of protein amount of carbs that i needed to eat so finally i decided to just sit down and write out a meal plan uh and you know just just follow it so i'm actually putting that in a spreadsheet and i'm going to put that in my link on i mean i'm going to put that on my Instagram and pretty much I'm just gonna have if if y'all want it then y'all can just DM me I'm giving it away for free um, all I ask is for y'all to tell me you know how how y'all like it uh, and stuff like that um, just you know so I can so I can just learn and whatnot but right here 315 for warm-up today f uh, felt really 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 good like none of my joints were hurting Lately, my f right forearm has been really messing up, but today it wasn't hurting at all. So, and this is actually the first time that I warmed up with 405. I've never warmed up with 405 before. Um, 405 was always like my working top set, or maybe like 415 f um, or something like that. So it it was pretty cool warming up with 405. It made me feel strong. 
And right here, this is my top set of 445. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here and let y'all listen. <laughs> So I failed on the last rep, uh, and then right here, <laughs> so there was a big, big thunderstorm outside, and it actually knocked out the lights, so I was like, you know what, um, I'm just going to bench in the dark, because I got stuff to do, and I, I you know, I, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to just stop because the lights are out, but right here, just doing some body weight dips to warm up, and you'll see after this, see how slowly I get off, that's because it feels like my freaking bones are bending. Every time I uh, every time I do dips, I have to chill after my set like that. And then right here, this is just a four to five pound plate. I've had to widen the dip bar because my back has gotten you know so wide, so it puts quite a bit of stress on my shoulders now, which sucks. But the thing that I do like about it, see right here, I tried to do it close, but yeah, it didn't even work. But the thing that I like about the wide is that it mimics my bench press because that's that's about how wide uh, my grip is when I bench. So I don't know. I feel like that might carry over to the bench better. But right here, uh, 90 pounds. I don't know why I made that clip so long. But And then right here, 135 pounds. And I actually had to gear up, you know, with wrist wraps and elbow cuffs just because they were hurting so much and then the thing it's not because I'm too weak that I can't do dip like I can't do more than two or three dips with this it's because those rubber grips um that's why you see me take those wrist reps off uh those rubber grips on the dip bar is just super super sucky and it makes your hand slide off of the side so, which, you know, I can't, I obviously can't do dips if I'm pushing with my thumb. So, right here, I tried it again. I think I got more than my last one. But, again, the my thumbs were still just sliding out. But, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not going to stress over it. And then, right here, I think I did some... Either this set or the next set. Um, I did some pause dips, just pausing at the top. Yeah, I don't think that it was this set. Yeah, this set right here. Uh, I did some pause dips at the top. 
on Instagram, there's this dude named Swimhack. I don't know his real name, but he's like a 600 pound plus bencher. And he does these, same with Horna Strong. So I started doing these and they really help um, the behind the elbow tricep, like the lockout. Um, for bench, they really, really help with that. So I, I started incorporating those. And right here, just doing some seated shoulder press. Dang, my forearms are pretty big. I actually have, I think they're 17 inches now, 17 inch forearms. Um, and then my biceps, or I guess my arm, is 20, I think 20 inches, 20 or 21. I think it actually is 21 inches, but but I still have super freaking small hands, which sucks. I, f I feel like all Mexicans have that. If you look at big Mexican powerlifters like um, Big Boy uh, from the Strength Cartel, he has small hands. Um, I love you, Power Ramirez, but you know you got small hands too. That's that's just how us Mexicans were made. But right here, this is, I believe, my top set. Um, I think I did another set with this, but I didn't get as much reps. Um, I think the most I've done. No, I haven't even gotten six plates before. Last time I tried six plates, I just ducked under the shoulder press thing, and I couldn't get it. My left arm would shoot up, but my right arm would always lag behind. And you can actually see right here, my left arm, is my left tricep is definitely a lot uh more defined and just bigger so that explains it um and then this is i just dropped down to do a couple more reps i'm really trying to build up my shoulders because that's like a lagging part for my bench press so, like I, I noticed a bunch uh most of the big benchers like larry wills horner strong uh swim hack uh let me see this guy's name. I don't know. And the, I forget this other guy's name, but all of them have big overhead presses. They all overhead press like over 350 pounds. Um, some of them over 400 pounds. And guess what? They all bench over 600 pounds. So I committed to myself to getting stronger shoulders and stronger triceps. So right here, just some tricep pushdowns. And I believe that that's all for my workout so thank you all for watching leave any tips below if y'all have any and i appreciate it see you hey what's up guys sorry about the lighting um it's dark because it's pouring and super cloudy of course but just finished lifting uh, as you can see that motherfucker God, touching the bar it is what it is though um, I feel like I got all four of those on my own it was pretty pretty easy I did let it sink in my body unfortunately but that's all right for right now but so we're gonna go home eat you know what the beef and pasta hopefully we get home there safe now, I'm not gonna record while I'm driving because I got bald tires and shitty old car, so hopefully it goes all right. I'll see y'all when I get home. I'm home. Dude, I almost crashed twice. I hydroplane twice, and then there's a huge tire in the road, so I ended up putting my hazard lights on, stopping, throwing the tire into the grass. <laughs> I didn't want anybody to hit that. And then on the way to my house, there's like a huge construction site and there's seriously water about this much and you cannot see it um, until you hit it. And when you hit it, you'll know you hit it. <laughs> What's up, dog? What's up? You wanna say anything? I'm hungry. Stop. Why your face so round? Brown? Round. Cause I eat food. A grape. I didn't wash that yet. I don't care. She's speaking, she's singing Spanish, but she don't even know what she's saying.
<laughs> oh, I'm on E. My battery's on E. Again? What's up, nigga? Oh. What's up, nigga? <laughs> that was horrible. It is the end of the video. So y'all say bye. Bye. Bye, STT Buzz. Oh. Bye, STT Buzz. Thank you guys for watching. Like if you like the video. Comment down yeah. anything y'all want me to yeah. cover. Please comment down. Yeah. Um, say click like. Yeah. Click like. Yeah, click like. like. Naked? I ain't naked. Alright guys, thank you. Thank you for watching again. And bye bye. Y'all say bye. Bye!